More than 500 kilometres from the closest hospital, a life-saving truck is making its inaugural visit to the tiny remote desert community of La Jamanu. It gives people a chance to get home, to see their kids and their grandkids and look after their country. Barbara Patterson is one of those lucky enough to journey home. And I wanted to come and see my family because it's been a long time. It's been almost a decade since Barbara Patterson's kidneys stopped working. Getting the life-saving dialysis treatment she needed meant relocating to Darwin, almost 900 kilometres from home. Jeez. I had to stay there on a hostel with other renal patients. She says the dialysis units in Darwin were filled with Aboriginal people from remote communities across the top end. Public housing waiting lists of up to eight years meant most stayed in hostels, with some sleeping rough on the streets to access the critical services. When your kidneys are no good, you need dialysis three times a week for the rest of your life and it takes about five hours for each treatment. Non-profit organisation Purple House has now launched a second dialysis truck to make sure those patients get a chance to visit home in both the Top End and Central Australia. We're overwhelmed with requests from communities who have no dialysis in their community. The need far exceeds the truck's capacity, but even a few weeks at home for dialysis patients is a win. It means that, that people can spend time with their families and, and catch up on their grandkids and fill up on bush medicine and bush tucker and, and do all the things that that help people to say, stay strong and have a sense of well-being. For Barbara Patterson, it's a life-saving trip that she hopes will be available again. Roxanne Fitzgerald, ABC News.